Hey everybody, this is Juan from the Buy That Team back with another review. This time it's a little unexpected as the other day before just going to bed, I was checking out the interwebs, I was checking out the wrestling news, and apparently the WWE had put out a brand new album. Now I was thinking it was going to be some kind of federation thing or guys from the current roster, but as it turns out, the WWE released a brand new album called The Music of WCW. So me being a huge theme collector and a big wrestling fan from the WCW days, I had to cry, I couldn't believe it, 60 tracks, okay, we're not talking 10 or 20, 60 tracks across 4 digital albums, it spans across 130 plus minutes, you can get the whole thing for about 45 bucks, $1.29 for each individual track, although if you do that, over time you'd spend over $70, which is a little crazy, and as I said, 60 tracks, so check out the description section below for the entire package there's also going to be uh, a link so you can check out the iTunes download so how do I go about this I loved a lot of these themes I remember a lot of these I don't remember some so originally I was going to go do a good and the bad but it is WCW and some of these themes are unique so I decided to do a the good and the so bad it's good so with that being said I have a little list here there are two themes that really stood out for me that I loved growing up Number one, and it is, I'm starting off hot. I'm talking about Buff Daddy himself, Mr. Showtime, Mr. Crazy Time now, the man that he is living his gimmick right now, uh, Buff Bagwell's theme. I mean, who does not love this? I think it is a great theme. It is a lot different because a lot of the WCW themes were kind of just generic rock. And it's nice to see that, that a guy with, with this uh, stud muffin type character got a very, very, very fitting theme for him. And we never got this full version. A lot of the versions available online up to this point have been different cuts and then looped or something. So it's great to see just, just the great quality. And that's that spans across the entire album, just the quality. We're not used to that. Jimmy Hart worked in all of these songs. Tremendous guy. The second one, we've always had like a very low quality footage, uh, music quality of this one. And I am talking about Total Package, Lex Luger. So, uh, near the end of his career, he was pretty much rebranded as his whole package with, with Miss Elizabeth. He was coming out with her and all that. And I love this theme because it, it's, it's low. Uh, they would have these spotlights, so he would like, uh, she would take his shirt, uh, his, uh, shirt off. And then the music was like, dun 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 it, it was awesome. Eddie Guerrero was WCW's theme. This was also used for the Latino World Order, which is interesting because both the Latino World Order and Eddie Guerrero's theme are in the same album. The only difference is the LWO one has like an intro to it that says La Raza, but then it goes back to this, so you can essentially pay over $3 for, for the same songs. I, I don't get it, I, I don't get what's going on, but Eddie Guerrero has an awesome theme. The Natural Born Thrillers have a great theme here. Oddly enough, they have two different themes, and, and I mean, we have a huge roster in WCW. They have like 560 guys, and you really chose two themes for these guys. Uh, Billy Kidman, uh, his theme is, it's interesting because it always sounded low quality and apparently it still is because although it sounds a lot better, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's still low quality, but it's a really, really nice theme. It was fitting for him. It's, it's not too over the top, it's just right. Uh, yeah, Chris Canyon, may he rest in peace. I always loved this theme and I was super happy he got to keep it during his time in the WWE. This one has the, the little intro so for when he was a uh, Mortis, so it's really nice. Uh, now talking about Buff Bagwell. Talk about a bittersweet track. I was I was contemplating between putting this in the so bad it's good and the, 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 the simply just good, but I mean American males, man. Do, do I really need to explain myself? American males, if you haven't listened to that, like, somewhere, we're on the internets, man. It can, you can make it happen. So now, American Made, Hulk Hogan. Uh, this is pretty much the WCW version of Real American. It's a pretty nice track, uh, The Four Horsemen. I would say that's probably the most outstanding track. That's the track that a lot of people just love to listen to because of the legacy, the prestige that it has, the everybody that was involved that came out to that theme. It's always awesome. I love this version because there's like two different versions of the Horseman theme. This is by far my favorite, so check that out. And I was gonna put Sting, because Sting is also in this album, but they used a previous WCW, WCW album version. But the problem is it's not a full track, and like halfway through he just starts talking, 
And it's like, okay, he uses the crow theme here. It's not Seek and Destroy, which was one of his last WCW themes. The Wolf Pack. I mean, who does not love some Wolf Pack? We, we had a pretty good version available online, but nothing quite as good as this, developed by Jimmy Hart himself. Uh, there's actually some, some footage you can check out on YouTube, which uh, Jimmy Hart goes into detail about how he developed the Wolf Pack theme. It was essentially just like a loop, but they added, you know, a couple different layers, and that's how it came about. And two notable mentions here, Van Hammer, uh, he basically has a ripoff of Smoke on the Water. Just listen to that. It's, it, it cannot be more of a knockoff. And I know WCW was pretty well known for that. Uh, Pearl Jam, there's a lot of different bands that they certainly have ripped out of. Uh, smells like Teen Spirit, you know. And this guy, just because of his name, M.I. Smooth. Am I Smooth? Do I, do I really need to like say the name of his theme? Uh, it's a knockoff of Smooth Operator, so it's pretty amazing. So, three themes that I had to pick that are so bad they are good. Number one, Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff has the most, like, just the, the lyrics of the theme are so obvious. It's like, wonderful, he is so wonderful, and you know it's true. And it's awesome because it's, it's just so, it's so bad it's good. Like, it, it's fitting for the character, but it doesn't hold the test of time. Like, I, I can see maybe why back then that type of theme would have worked, but that would be terrible nowadays. And a guy that's pretty much in the same way, a buzzkill. I mean, talk about taking the guy's name, and you know his gimmick already by his name, but the theme just says, oh man, what a buzz, you killed my buzzkill, man. And it's like this this weird guy who they just got randomly off the street and they recorded him saying these lines, I guess, because I don't know, it's, it's so bad, once again, it's good. And Tank Abbott, he has not one, okay? He has a total of two themes and none of them are when he had a serious gimmick. I mean, Tank Abbott had the most diverse career. He was uh, a, a roadie for the three count at one point and all that, so it was kind of crazy. And he has uh, Tank in the Night here and Tank Thang, which is an amazing song. He talks about Tank Abbott and all that. It's, it's amazing. So at first I was thinking to myself, so this album, is it really worth $45? Absolutely, man. Because just listening to this, yeah, there are notable uh, omissions from this. You know, we need DDP's thing. Because if you already got ripoffs, why not just, you know, pick one of the very best? We're missing Goldberg, Ernest the Cat Miller. The list goes on of great themes that should be. We'll probably see a volume two at some point. Count me in, WWE. Please make that happen. But check this album out. I highly recommend it. If you haven't really checked out too much WCW, the WWE Network dubs some of the stuff over. So check this out, man. It's a great opportunity. And Dungeon of Doom is in this. So you got to check it out. And let me know what your favorite track is. As I mentioned, the whole thing is in the description below. If you've listened to any of these, let us know in the comment section below what your favorite track is or what's a track that needs to be on Volume 2. So check us out on YouTube channel right here. We have our podcast. We have our top 10 WrestleMania moments. We have the weekly filler, which is Ryan's exclusive weekly show talking about all the things we weren't able to cover in the podcast. Follow us on Twitter at ByteThatCast. Hey, hey. It's all here, man. Check it out. It's all here. I don't even need to say it, but I want to say it because I love you guys uh, and gals. I love all of you, so check it out. I also love WCW. I love me some WCW music. So have fun. Go on the road while listening to some buff bagwall music. It's amazing. For Ryan and Keith, I'm Juan, and we'll be back with another video review.